Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nick, and today I'm building another house in The Sims 4. In this one, I am so, so excited to show you it. It hasn't been that long since I built it, but it's felt like forever since I've gotten to share it with you, just because I'm so, so excited and proud of how this build turned out. I had no idea what I wanted to build. I was definitely in a bit of a builder's slump and had no clue what to do. So I started a few things, didn't finish them, which is not too typical for me. Usually I'll finish a build because I just like seeing my vision through at least, but I just couldn't get through it. And I started this one and you'll see it goes through a little bit of changes, um, but Ultimately, it was pretty pretty good from the start, I think. <laughs> I loved what I was going for, and I was just able to fully enhance my vision by the end of it. And the interior is just phenomenal. I, I love the interior. It's a lot of brown, so spoiler alert. But I think it just looks incredibly luxurious in all the best ways. So right now I'm adding this uh, little third story roof attic situation. It doesn't stay looking exactly like this. That was the thing I wasn't sure how to tackle, but I think I, I think I nailed it in the end. So a few fun facts about this house it has three bedrooms and two bathrooms. It's French inspired. That's why it was called Le Petit Chateau. Uh, that was a suggestion from one of you on Twitter, Alex. Thank you so, so, so much for that. And the house was built for the Alcott family, which was a suggestion from Dimitris on Twitter or on Instagram. So thank you so, so, so much for your input on this and everyone who gave me feedback on Twitter ahead of time uh, before posting this because I just really, really love hearing what you think about the builds and knowing that you like this one makes me really, really happy. So, thank you for your suggestions. If I pronounce your names wrong, please let me know. Uh, don't want to do that, because I'm very grateful for all your input. <laughs> you can see right now I'm working on just finishing up the exterior kind of uh, frame of the house. I'm working on blending it into the landscape around it. I That was something I was focusing on, and I try and do that pretty often in my builds, make them look relatively normal. In the landscape sometimes it's unavoidable because i want to do something totally outlandish that does not suit necessarily uh the world or the neighborhood that i'm building in but i tried to make this one suit the area a bit and i wanted it to just be incredibly rich like someone very high up at one of the universities in brightchester might live here with their family and that would be the alcott family i'm gonna make them and put them on the Sims 4 gallery. I'll probably post a picture of them on Instagram and Twitter too. So you can follow me there at Nick Last Game on everything as well as the gallery so that you can see that. You can also download this build uh, in the description. I have a direct link to the gallery. I also have the tray files. Might take me a sec to get them in there, but <laughs> they will definitely be there and you'll be able to download this build and put it in your game in all different ways, whatever your preference is. I didn't use any custom content in this build. I don't do that, uh, at least for now. It might change, but I'm really, really loving just using the content that's in the game for building. Some custom content, though, is so tempting. It looks amazing. Like, I can't lie. That makes me want to download custom content every single time I see it. Uh, I do, and I played The Sims forever. Like, my whole childhood, uh, Sims 2, 3, 4, uh, 2 I actually played way after 3, um, except on my babysitter's computers, but that's uh, for a story for another day. Anyways, we're inside the house, I've just been doing this for a very long time, so I've gone through my periods where I use a lot of custom content. Right now, I'm really enjoying all the content with the game, especially this is a hot take. The kits, I use a lot of them all the time. This build uses pretty much every expansion pack, game pack, and 
a decent amount of the stuff packs and kits. Not all of those, but I've had all the games I definitely, uh, I guess I collect them, you could say, because I just get everything. <laughs> Even if I don't think I will necessarily like it, I just love having all the options to choose from, and this game is so fun for me, so I'm down to support the team that creates it consistently. Uh, but the kits, I like them because I just get more content, and usually there's a few very 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 great items in each one that i can just use over and over again the light switches i try and use the base game ones because i don't want to make the build like insanely uh pack heavy so if i can try and limit it some places i do so the light switches i've been recently trying to do the ones that are base game but like those are amazing i love that i would use all of them all the time if i could I haven't talked about this build at all. I'm so sorry. I've just been excited to like sit here and chat about The Sims. <laughs> this is the kitchen. I had a pretty open floor plan. I used a custom marble floor that I kind of made using the two different uh, like beige and light brown tiles. And I control F, I think, place them to just create special little diamonds that I was able to continue everywhere. Then I used this nice wood plank uh, diagonal flooring in the kitchen dining room area. There's also a bar that you could see against the uh, window in the back by the dining table. I thought that that would be a nice uh, little fun functional addition. You could totally take it out. This house is pretty expensive. It's like 170,000, no, 120,000 uh, simoleons. But, you know, if you save up, honestly, I think I've gotten to that playing the game before, $122,000 house. It would take a bit, probably like a legacy or, you know, someone really successful. Or you could just use, or you could just use the free real estate on cheat uh, or mother load or the money cheat. There's so many ways to just get money and place whatever house you want. And that's fun because sometimes even making houses that aren't supposed to be like crazy expensive mansions. You can rack up the price by landscaping and decor, clutter, it all costs money. <laughs> Anyways, this is the primary suite. We are almost done with this house. It had those uh, two guest rooms. One could fit a double bed, like barely one could fit a single bed. This primary suite is very, very spacious. There's a lot of balconies in the house that you could see from the outside. I'm going to try and rush through this because I just totally ignored the whole house. Uh, the bathrooms I love, especially the primary suite bathroom. Incredible. There's a Jack and Jill between the two bedrooms. There's a powder room on the first floor and a laundry room out back that leads to the back little patio area. Now we're upstairs to this uh, attic kind of loft space. You get up to it by a ladder, which is super fun. Uh, unless you're like a toddler, I don't think they can go up. Or pets. So... <laughs> I included a lot of fun, just like kind of musical objects, which was a request from Dimitris. So I think you could totally make this an even bigger like jam space and it would just look absolutely incredible. Anyways, thank you so, 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 so much for watching. I hope you have an incredible rest of your whatever it is, day, night, uh, week, weekend. <laughs> Thanks for watching. There's some screenshots at the end. As I said, all downloads are in the description. If you want me to build something, let me know. I'll probably do it. <laughs> See ya. Thanks, for, thanks again. <laughs>